Peace begins within. Peace begins within. Peace begins within. Welcome to the Peace Begins Within. Uh, you're watching TK Dharma Channel from New York City. I'm TK Nakagaki. I'm your host of this program. And uh, I hope uh, you will enjoy it for today. This is the third one that I'm going to have today. And uh, I mentioned about uh, everything is 333. You probably realize because this one, this program changed every three days. And also three minutes. At least my feeling is a three minutes. And listen three times again later on. That's my hope. And uh, so everything is three, and this is the the third time. So, uh, so this number three is a magical number in Buddhism. So today's keyword. The last time I tried to write it, you know, while I'm doing it, but takes more time. So, <laughs> but this time I wrote it already, and um, which is good or not, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Depending upon reaction, I may do it again. But um, so the three is actually the you know line number three. You know, so three lines, so there are, that's why three. And so it's nothing uh, you know substantially difficult like words. But the three is uh, actually very very interesting numbers because uh, when you think of three. You know, it's not one, not two, but three, right? So, yeah, kind of thinking of from the balance wise, if you have one leg only, it's how to stand. But two legs, also a little unstable. And when it comes to three legs, it becomes very steady. So I'm just using today tripod for the camera. So, which means that's become very steady. You know, the two legs are hard. <laughs> and uh, so this, you know, three legs uh, minimum of make things very steady. So, for instance, maybe I'm talk about a little sutra. Each tradition have some base on a different sutra. Sutra is a teaching of the Buddha, um, three pillar. You can say, and uh, like my tradition itself with Jodo Shinshu, uh, Pure Land Buddhist tradition. So we do have uh, three main sutras. Uh, one is actually the most important one, probably largest Kavata Vyuha Sutra, that become the first one. Then the second, uh, Meditation Sutra on the Pure Land, and then third one, uh, the Amida Sutra or small, smaller Skavati Vyuha Sutras. So those three become the base of the, this school of Buddhism. So, uh, yeah, so some of the three main pillars of Buddhism, meaning when, you come, when somebody becomes Buddhist, which means they take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. So those are three too. And I'm going to talk about this later, but the Buddha means awakened one. Uh, Dharma means it's truth, so it's teaching. The Sangha means the one who practiced the Buddha Dharma. So those three are considered as the three pillars of the Buddhism. So we just uh, respect those three always. Oh, I should do it, but Dharma, Sangha. <laughs> it's American style, Japanese style, it's different. Um, but three times also, it's talking about determination. If you're asking, you know, Buddha, Dharma, Sangha three times, I take refuge in three times, three times, three times. That means you're deeply rely on that, you know. So think of um, our life too. One time, you may decide to do a certain thing, but Sometimes people say something always, right? And even like this one, you know, I started doing this particular project, I feel, and so, which is a video making. And uh, when I'm starting, you know, <laughs> some people say, oh, why do you do it now, and so forth. And, uh, well, I just say because of the, you know, I stay home and explain it. 
but then the you know taking time you don't know how to do this and so you just people start saying so so let me try three times that was actually this is my third time so which is a very important point for me too I feel like uh, I enjoy certain part but then the, it doesn't comes that easily but yet it's like uh, my new practice and you know meditating or chanting or you know learning that that you know the reading the scripture reading the books and so forth are also important but this is something very interesting area for me so i guess i will try to continue so it's like a determination when you, whatever the things you decide to do you know this always somebody say oh no good and then, or even yourself might say no good then you might stop but you can we think again whether it's a good idea for me to do really uh what the, the asking yourself and then again asking then again asking at least three times so um even though when you probably have difficult time at least i want to, i recommend you try three times with the best shot and if it doesn't work out i guess it's all right to stop even buddha stopped too actually <laughs> you know sometimes uh, in a story of the buddha uh you know sometimes there's a conflict between the villages and uh uh buddha one time uh sit down in between sit between and then try to stop the uh the fighting the villages and so you know he go in and then he just negotiate you shouldn't talk you shouldn't you know harm each other and try to help each other type of thing and then he left and then they sort of left and then back again that they they start doing uh, conflicts again and come back and the buddha come back again and again he goes he talks and so forth and separate and again three times third time they come so buddha came again then after that actually they really start fighting or the the have a wars type of things the fourth time but actually when it comes to the fourth time but the didn't show up and so which means the uh, their their karma is deep and so we can control so so three time is a kind of a really determinant points of the uh decision making whether you continue or you stop uh, join me in meditation bring peace to yourself and bring peace to the others and bring peace to all the universe that supports us thank you okay have a good day